woke up to the party floating like it's Mardi Gras, yeah You can call me Harry, but I'm not your puppy doll, yeah C to the OC, oh that's me lord, I've no C Young queen, but I act like an unne Young blood, but I'm built like an OG I'm gonna have to tuck my hair behind my ears, lads, I'm sorry It's just not cooperating at all today, so Right now, I'm literally done with that much time to film, let's go Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we will be doing a little crochet with me. Finally, 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 finally. The other day I did a poll on YouTube and I asked what type of to summer top you guys wanted to see. Um, it was either the Lilith top, the open butterfly top or the granny square vest. And the Lilith top won by quite a measurable amount, so that is what we did. That is what we did din dood. But yeah, if that is something that you are interested in, then keep on watching. But without further ado, let's get into it, my darlings. So I am recording this after I have actually done it, so I know all about the top, so I'm just going to tell you now. So this is the tutorial that I followed and yeah, it's brilliant. This, t this, this, yeah, yeah, brilliant, great, brilliant, amazing. What the hell was that? So my plan was to do a white top just because I had a lot of white yarn, or so I thought, and it's quite a gothic style, so I did want to keep the palette quite muted if that makes sense i didn't want to do like a bright pink or a bright orange just because it is quite a gothic top and i do prefer that style now when it came down to it i thought i had a lot of white yarn which i'm pretty sure i do but it's just in loads of different places and i couldn't find any so i was like oh i'll do an off-white because i had this ball of off-white yarn um so i used that and then i ran out of that so i chose another color that to me still now looks the exact same underneath my lights i'll show you that clip now i finished that first ball and then this is the ball that i'm using now i think it's pretty much the same i think it's the same like if you look at these two they're pretty much i think it's the same ball so these are the three balls that i found and i think they're pretty much the same you'd have to be looking at them real close to notice the slight offness but when it actually came down to it i came into my sister's room to show her what it looked like and they were completely different colors like the one that i used second was a stark white and the other one was an off-white so i don't know why it looked so different obviously it's to do with the lighting but it literally looked the exact same under my regular light but in daylight completely different colors so i was like oh cruds i don't have any other colors because i don't have any apart from bright colours and like I said I wanted to keep it quite muted um, I didn't have enough brown, I didn't have enough white, I didn't have enough black, I didn't have enough anything like that so I went out and bought this colour so I ended up going with a green colour and I'm actually really happy that that kind of happened because I feel like I'm gonna wear this a little bit more it's more whimsical, like more whimsy goth, it's a sage green and it's absolutely adorable Please ignore these. I I got really stressed last night and I bit off all of my nails. So I literally don't have any nails anymore. So I've just put these raggedy fake ones on that I found. Ignore them. I'm going to paint over them. Just not now. Anyway, whilst I was making the top yesterday, I was playing a game of yarn chicken. A lovely game of yarn chicken. I didn't have enough. Um, so I've gone rooting through all of my scrap pieces and all just everything trying to find some off-white yarn because i could have sworn i had more again incorrect got that wrong so right i'm i'm watching i'm watching i'm watching yeah did you, yeah so i found three 
separate little balls and I think they're pretty similar if not they're similar enough for now um I don't think I'm gonna remake it or I might remake it I'm not sure it's really not take a long whatsoever so I could just make another one but I want to finish this white one although I don't think I've got enough footage of what I've done so yeah so I've done the entire bottom section I've done one of the sides um, where you like increase and then decrease this is for the cup and then I'm just on to the second part and this is where I'm gonna have to start using different yarn but like I said I've really not recorded much of this because I've honestly it's been really fun to make like I said it's been quite quick so I've hardly recorded any of it but I think it's literally taken me like 10 hours and that's not 10 hours straight that's like 10 hours with food playing on overwatch which i say to myself all the time you know crushing wasn't playing overwatch it doesn't happen the the roll queue that i'm in is just really quick so i hardly crochet when i'm on that but i like to tell myself that anyway so a lot less than 10 hours which is unreal to be honest but it'd take me a lot longer than that and i thought it'd be a lot more difficult than it is and a lot more stressful but yeah i'm just gonna get back on with it get straight back on with it see where we end up and hopefully fingers crossed i can finish it with the yarn that i have but yeah i can't i can't get i can't believe i bit them all off anyway I'm not wearing pants! I think that's necessary. Okay, good morning, hello. Ignore the nails, ignore the face, ignore the hair, just ah! It's a physical representation of how I'm feeling right now. But basically, okay, I'm gonna sit here so I don't get the family photos in the background, but I'm having trouble with the breast plates, the chest, chest area. It's really bothering me, it's really annoying me. Um, I think I have a solution that I've genuinely restarted it like 10 times because I keep missing things out or miscalculating. The issue with me is I have quite broad, no, like I have <laughs> amnesia apparently. Um, I have, it's not big, it's not big. I'm not going to sit down until you say something nice to me for once in your life. Your hair looks small. Oh, f I basically have small boobs, but I have a wide waist. It's not wide, it's just, it doesn't balance out. I'm basically balanced. Like everything else with me, I'm not balanced. It's just proving quite difficult to make it look okay. Cause she did 80 stitches for the under, what's it called? Bust, oh my God. For the underbust area, she did eight stitches, whereas I needed 96. But she has the same size boobs as me, practically. So she did 22 chains up, which I could also do with. But I decided to do 28, just because I think I can get away with 28, hopefully. Um, but it's just proving quite difficult. Um, I'll show you it now. So here it is. First of all, absolutely love the colour and I'm kind of really glad that I ran out of the cream so I could go get this. I just realised like a second ago that, oh my god, that I did this part wrong. So these are the ends and this is the middle. It's supposed to be the middle. It's not. There we go. Um, and then I'm supposed to have one in the middle of here, which is supposed to be my highest point. Um, I haven't done that yet. Um, because I start going all the way around here, I forgot to put one in there. So that's why this time it went, went wrong. The first time it went wrong because this is single crochet um, ribbon. 
and then you turn it into half double crochet ribbon whereas I had been doing half double crochet all the way around which it wouldn't have really mattered I could have just continued but I did want it to look like this um I did that want that little bit of separation so this I could do this all day I love doing this bit the little lace a bit perfect this however absolutely annoying and I want to throw myself off of a double decker bus because I, it's it's counting it's measuring it's yeah um so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm once again again I'm once again gonna take all this apart and start again hopefully this time I'll get it right um but basically mine should be 28 chains tall so I've got to count back from 28 to the center point so like that so it'll be I don't know I'm guessing it'll be about 20 stitches maybe and then I need to do 20 stitches up but I don't really want to do that so I'm not going to do that um I think I'm just going to keep it 22 I think that'll still work so then here will be about I don't know 13 maybe the highest point I don't really know we'll see anyway little update this is happening the reason why I've not been recording is because stressed this is stressing me out but once I have it down I'll have it down but yeah I really love this colour and also I've not used that much so I probably could have just done with buying one ball but I bought two so now I have spare green which I don't have in my collection which is nice silver linings but yeah <laughs> I'll show you the white one now because I've not taken it apart yet. This is the cream and then as you can see, completely different coloured white. So yeah, although I do really want to make it in a cream because I think it'd be really cute for like holobob the holobobs, the holidays and things like that. Like I imagine it was like a really long maxi maxi dress uh, maxi skirt or something. But yes, I had quite a difficult time with the bust area just because I, I think I mentioned it in a part of one of the clips that you're going to see or that you already have seen. So I have like a regular sized torso, um, but because I have smaller boobs, it, it comes up kind of wide, if that makes sense. So if I would have regular sized boobs, I'd have regular sized torso, but because I have smaller boobs, then the torso comes up quite wide. So the actual bust area was quite difficult. I did have to start it again numerous times just because I didn't get the measurements right. They weren't looking right. So in the end, I just ended up going with 20 rows, uh, 20 stitches up instead of 22, which wasn't the plan. I was supposed to do it to the size that she did, but with a wider, um, longer bust area, if that makes sense. But it does look good. It looks good. I have actually tried this one on. Um, you'll be good to know. I am um, improving within that element of trying things on and making sure that things fit. I honestly had so much fun with the actual lace detailing area of it. It was amazing because every row was different and then you just re repeat it once. And to me, that's amazing because it keeps my brain functioning. It keeps me going. And I did stitches that I did like patterns that I'd never done before. I'd never even done like a stack double crochet, which sounds ridiculous, but it's super easy. And I don't know why I've never done a stack double crochet before instead of like I, I, I don't really know I don't know why I've never done it before but other than that it went great and honestly it didn't take that long I think it took about 10 hours altogether and that's on and off um that's not doing it all at once um and also not including obviously changing the yarn and everything like that but other than that it went absolutely super duper amazingly and I absolutely love it and I definitely do want to be making more so yeah that's everything and i'm gonna try it on again for years i've put a white bra on but the straps are a little bit gray this isn't my regular white bra so please ignore how bookie it is i couldn't find my other one but yeah i did try it on without a bra yesterday and i don't think it looks as good i don't really know i'm not sure but then again also I'm a flat chested galley, you know, it don't really matter it looks no different in terms of like how my boobs look in it because i'm flat chested but yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just, yeah. Anyway, let's get on with the trying on because I am yapping. Ta-da! Here she is. Um, I did end up taking my bra off. Um, you could see like the under bit and I didn't really like it. Here she is. Please ignore the bottoms that I've put her on with. Um, I've not purposely put these on. These are my lounging bottoms. Um, I probably wear it with like a skirt or something. But yeah. Oh my god. Ah! I love her so much, genuinely. Uh, so if you see me touching this bit, I have real big issues with this area. I hate, 
I hate my shoulders so much. Like, they're just... Uh, um, this is her. This is she. I love her so much. Like, genuinely. I think I've got the um, increase in decrease. This bit, I think it's just perfect. Um, there was two ways that you could wear this bow. I've just tied it at the top. I do love my little mole there because it's literally like pretty much central and any time I have a top like this it just peeks through. Um, you can't see my nipples through it which is, you know, <laughs> I mean I don't mind, I don't care if you can see my nipples but you know, public decency I guess that's a good thing. But yeah, that is how the top turned out. I am ex like ecstatic about it. Like I absolutely love it and it's the first top that I've ever made. I've made a bralette before, but not like a full blown top. So I absolutely love it and I wouldn't change anything about it at all. It's just the measuring bit that got me a little bit confused, but that's because I don't usually measure. I just go with it. But obviously this is a fitted top, so you have to measure really. At the moment I am working on a little granny square piece which I'm quite excited about but I'm doing that in my own time. Um, it's going to be a little black and white like uh, top, I'll put the inspo here. But yeah everything, all the references and everything that I've used today will be linked down below in the description box. I will also link my Pinterest in case you want a little nosy on up and coming videos. I make um, boards for everything that I'm going to be working on so feel free to go and check that out. My TikTok is at Baby Sprout if you are interested in having a little goosey gander at that. I usually just do like makeup transitions to be honest. I also have an Instagram, it is set to private but I do practically allow everyone to um, follow me on it. It's just I'm trying to keep the goons out, I'm trying to keep the weirdos out so <laughs> if you're a gooner and a weirdo and you know that I think you're a gooner and a weirdo and you're watching this, that's for you. My Etsy is also linked down there if you did want to ha have a little goosey gander at what I'm selling. It is all crochet things from bandanas to plushes. Um, I've got scrunchies up there now hopefully and a couple of other things if you wanted to look at that then please feel free. I also have my buy me a coffee down there as well if you did want to contribute to the channel. Um, I think I'm going to be reducing the payment on it as well if I can. I like to put it, I think I'm going to put it to the minimum or something like that. Everything that I will make off there or if I do make something off there then it will go back into the channel for like yarn or like tools, like you know shopping on different websites, everything that I'll be recording will be, that's what that will be used for. But yeah that is it from me my lovely dumplings and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Love you. Thank you.